Yes, yes, all right, fine. I'll talk about it. Minecraft has been bought by Microsoft, and as with everything major emerging from Minecraft, it was headline news. But what people unfamiliar with its blocky ways won't understand is why. They've heard of Microsoft. Microsoft make those computer -ma boxes that allow them to internet. They'll have heard of Minecraft unless their defectors from North Korea. But why is the computer -ma box company paying two and a half billion for the Lego game? What does it mean? I'm not going to answer that question. Instead, I'll be chit-chatting with those most in the know about exactly what Minecraft is now. And I hope that'll allow you to make your own decision on what this sale means for the future. So, Minecraft's not about Lego, but what the hell is it? Building blocks are the game's clearest feature and everyone fishing for a descriptor to tell their mates is gonna start with, you can build whatever you want. Surely that's something that can't be ignored. Turns out there are huge communities of people who ignore construction like a British builder, and they're using Minecraft for a purpose for which it was never intended. PvP means player versus player if you really haven't woken up yet. Anything from two to hundreds of players get together and hack it out. Swords connect with brains to the victor the spoils, frequently nothing, and architectural vision is all but forgotten. You've got factions, capture the flag, deathmatch, not ending up in the lava, and hundreds more, each sowing spores of new specializations like a frickin' pandemic. And every single one has a following dedicated to the point of gibbering passion. Cossack Canada is a game with a lot of different and interesting PvP mods, says user Hermes. Player Cobblefun had this to say, I no longer play Minecraft, just MC PvP. Why did I choose Minecraft for PvP? Well, I'm not the kind of person to have a bunch of video games. Bin Weevils, Minecraft, Eldritch, that's it. I never came to Minecraft for PvP, but loved it once I found out about it. I have no other options because Bin Weevils and Eldritch are the only games I own, and neither have PvP. Oh, cause it's easy to install undetectable but cheap hacks. <laughs> Hacking no scope noob though he is, so cool 21 makes an interesting point, and he's in it for the same reason as the rest. Minecraft's building blocks aren't the ones which make up its world. Minecraft, by design or otherwise, is a thoroughly modular thing, the default framework providing a powerful yet brutally simple intuitive base to do much more than build, to turn it into something it's not at no extra cost. Minecraft is about the freedom to support any number of ideas in a unified format, from PvP to quantum physics. Wait, what? Quantum fit you realise this says quantum physics? What do you mean we have an interview? How can we have a quantum phys- Fine, fine, just play the damn thing. Google uh, is working on a number of uh, next-gen uh, technology projects, including uh, some stuff in the area of quantum computing, which is a really fascinating area of computer science. They observed that the generation of kids that are uh, hardcore into Minecraft nowadays are, you know, very much, you know, those middle school kids will be the next generation of folks for whom things like quantum computers will be totally in the mainstream. And they approached us and said, you know, do you think it'd be possible to do something kind of fun and innovative in uh, Minecraft around quantum mechanics and quantum computing and introducing those ideas to, to kids? And we were intrigued and said, uh, let's go. QCraft is a Minecraft mod, which slots into the main game to make it behave a little differently. QCraft implements quantum physics, leveraging Lego framework and crafting mechanics to simulate quantum phenomena including observational dependence, superposition and entanglement. Lost? Well, there's a mod for that. Sorry, not simulate. I'll get in trouble if I use the word simulate. QCraft doesn't aim to simulate at all. What it does is much more interesting. So 
our, our deliberate goal in something like QCraft was not to attempt to simulate everything about quantum physics or teach you everything that you would learn in, you know, quantum physics 101. Um, it was to sort of fire the imagination, build some intuitions, spark an interest, and give folks a jumping off point. The modular, accessible format is providing rich veins for Minecraft's expansion, although its colossal promise as a teaching tool is proving hard to process for anybody born last century. The LEGO game is finding its way into fairly advanced education, attaching complex concepts to an established framework which is to kids as cliffs are to lemmings. We, we had a, a small demo running uh, over Christmas where we opened up it was a very small server just uh, for 10 users at the same time I think it was and it was a, it was a, um, uh, a small school just 30 kilometers south of Copenhagen and they could uh, edit in their own neighborhood what we saw there was um, was children in the age of I think eight it's uh, 10 years old who who were able to to interact with their own community and make uh, changes uh, which were fully up to what professional architects could have made five or ten years ago. So it's really a, a great tool for empowering uh, young people and get them interested in urban planning, get them uh, interested in architecture. We could also see that Minecraft was a hugely popular platform that millions and millions of kids were, were using to to build landscapes, to um, build cities, to play architects. So it was it was doable with with Minecraft as a platform. And there it is. Minecraft is a platform. Minecraft is a game in the same way that a PlayStation's a game, or a PC's a game. Like the Java it's built in, Minecraft is a standard format, an exceptionally intuitive, uniform platform, an environment for everything, from stab-happy simulations to education. But I think we can go one step further. We can hypothesize a little more. We can get academic up in here. Because there's a reason that this platform in particular is a notch in human history. by this reroll special, please pass it around. A share to Reddit, a post to Facebook, perhaps you know a guy who knows a guy who likes to tweet. The imaginary internet numbers make my day.